Hello, amazing souls. I am Amber McCray. I'm a nutritional therapist who helps women create a more meaningful, energetic, and connecting life through holistic nutrition and emotionally focused therapy. Today, I'm going to reveal to you what your purpose is and how you can get there. This innate desire to know and follow our path has been ingrained in us for lifetimes. The longing to know that we matter in a bigger way than just ourselves or our family, I truly believe um, that that tug at our hearts is because we do have such a huge purpose here in this life. I personally know and understand this longing because I've spent years searching and wondering and longing to understand and find my life's purpose. And I discovered something that truly shifted my journey and um, something that I didn't really like. And I'm going to share all of that with you today. Before I spill the beans on um, the secret or not so secret for discovering your life's purpose, I want to chat about what happens to us when our sense of purpose goes unfulfilled. When we've been trying for so long to reach our goals and finding um, that we're just keep coming up short, we have that feeling, that void, um, it begins to suck our confidence and our ability to actually create the dreams that we want. When this happens, we create this very negative pattern or spiral that's really hard to get out of. Um, you know, we begin to feel like our life has no meaning and thus we have no meaning making it much harder to do daily tasks, let alone reach any goals. You know, the feeling of dissatisfaction with life and ourselves begins to creep in and really consume us, shifting our focus more towards ourselves and what we look like, our thoughts, our actions, you know, analyzing and obsessing over each move we make with dread, sadness, and even sometimes guilt. Um, continuing to draw us more to an isolation and cut us off from others in the world. And this cycle creates a very lonely and exhausting road. And I know because I have been there. And I want to stress something so important that understanding your life's purpose, feeling like you have meaning in this world is so important. Not only important for you, but for the bigger picture um, and really for your everyday life. It's so normal and natural to want to matter, to want to matter to ourselves, to others, and the world at large. That desire for purpose, in my opinion, was a beautiful design to get us to search and live out our purpose. You might be thinking, okay, yes, great, Amber. I am in this cycle. Thanks for pointing that out. But what do I do about it? And how do I figure out my purpose? Okay, okay, okay. The answer is very simple, but it's not easy. And this is why I didn't really like what I discovered. Okay, listen really close because I'm about to reveal your life's purpose to you. Your life's purpose is you. You are your life's purpose. Everything that makes up you is part of your purpose. Your purpose is a road, not a place. The way to begin to walk your road is by telling your story. My story, what does that even mean? I can hear you now. I have had so many people tell me, I don't have a story. And I respond to that, yes, you do. We all have a story and we all have a story that's meant to be shared. It's the story of our life. It's the stories that make up you, all the little experiences I feel that we often think that we don't have a story because we compare ourselves to others or other people's stories and what they've gone through. Feeling like our life or our experiences are inadequate when we put them up to other people's. Doing this shuts down our light and diminishes our story's value. If we can understand that our story is our purpose and if purpose is a path, then following our story and telling our story and honoring our story is how we achieve our purpose. It's how we walk our purpose because we are our purpose. Oftentimes our story is filled with a lot of pain from our past that can bring up a lot of emotions and feelings 
that make it hard to talk about or deal with. And this is the first part of that process. Well, second part, the first is acknowledging that you have a story. The second would be coming to peace with your story. All of the good, the bad, the ugly, the amazing, and the mundane. Moving through the guilt and shame or sadness that our stories may hold from the past is going to be one of the hardest processes in sharing your story or even acknowledging your story. I found that when I started to talk about the really uncomfortable things, the things that I wasn't proud of from my past, that people could relate with that and that they also experienced a lot of those same things. In sharing these things, two things happened. It helped release the hold my past had on me This helped me begin to truly love myself and live wholeheartedly, unapologetically, and more humbly and connected with myself and moving in a forward motion, which is my path and my alignment with my purpose to be me, to let my light shine, to love myself and love those around me to help others learn how to love themselves and honor who they are and their story. By living our purpose, by sharing our stories, we create this magical energy of being able to be vulnerable and seen and heard and loved for who we are. That's not a freaking amazing purpose. I don't know what is. I will say the one thing that I do struggle with and that will keep you from getting to this point and living your purpose is fear of failure. You must fail forward in order to move forward. That fear of failing is a whole other podcast, but just so you know that you will, you are, and you need to fail in order to become your purpose, in order to walk your path. There are many other tools and obstacles along this crazy journey, but in a nutshell, if you want to begin becoming more aligned with your purpose, it's sharing your story, the story that makes up you. And once you begin to honor and align yourself with your story, you will begin to feel more aligned with your purpose. So remember, you are your purpose living out your true, amazing self, letting your light shine and connecting with yourself is your purpose. So get out there and start sharing your story because we need your story and we need you. If you're still not really sure where to start or you want to understand more about how to honor your story, your past, your present, especially if you experience trauma or depression, head over to my website and schedule a free consultation with me so we can create a game plan for you and get you more aligned with your purpose. I can't wait to hear your stories and feel the energy shift when you become more aligned with your purpose and who you are. Have an amazing day, guys. And remember, connection over perfection.